Welcome in to Game 3 of the Utah Top 50, opening night of this 2022 Top 50 group. And we've got a good way to close out the night. The Oakland Americans, the Washington Caps, tipping off here from Salt Lake Community College. I want to let you know the clock you see on your screen, unofficial. At times you'll see us start it early, maybe stop it late, that sort of thing to try to keep it synchronized with the game clock here in the stadium. And I'm out of breath as I just had to do a sprint. My apologies. I'm not in good shape. If you want to get in good shape, we'll tell you how to do that here in just a minute as uh, this game is starting off with an opening three. Won't go. The rebound gathered there by Peter Broadbent as the Americans coming up. We got a foul. Count it. Nice bucket there from Makai Martin, one of the Leighton Lancers here tonight or this year in the Utah Top 50. Got a couple of them that we'll see over the duration of this showcase. Into the corner. Here for the Caps, that batted around, taken away there by Jackson Workman. Sparta. We saw Chudy Anosike, his Murray High teammate, hit a couple buckets in our second contest of the night as that jumper hit by Peter Broadbent, and it's an early 5-0 lead here for the Oakland Americans. Here's a drive from Nathan Johnson from Highland. And a good response there for the Caps. Their first bucket of the night. Workman looking underneath. Oh, what a find. And the flush. Our first dunk of the night. Coming the way of Brock Mendoza out of Layton High School. Love the vision there. Is this sent out? Johnson, he'll hit the three. And the offense... You're finding their rhythm early as uh, we'll take a moment here. We've had some great sponsors here of the Utah Top 50, including Athletic Republic. And we've got Bryce Barker joining us here tonight. And uh, Bryce, thanks for joining us. Welcome here to the Utah Top 50. Our apologies there, a little technical difficulty. Bryce, yes. welcome to the Utah Top 50. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, no, it's great to be here. Um, really excited for these matchups that we have tonight. It's a great group of guys that we got playing out here. Uh, really impressive basketball that we got going on. So, you know, grateful to be here and grateful for this opportunity to rep represent Athletic Republic. Bryce, we, we talk about Athletic Republic. Our, our viewers have seen commercials. They've heard our reads in some of our, our prior games. Tell us a little bit about Athletic Republic, who you guys are, what you do, who you work with. Uh, give us a little bit of an intro. Yeah, so Athletic Republic, we're a sports performance training facility. Uh, we got several locations throughout the Wasatch Front. You know, North Davis is coming up uh, to open here next, uh, next month. And then we got one in Park City. West Jordan is opening up by the end of the year, as well as Lehigh. Um, but, you know, we, we're, we're a training facility, you know, so we're, we're here for the athlete and their needs. And our, our uh, speciality is, is teaching kids to be quick, fast, and explosive. So we're here watching basketball, so we teach basketball players how to jump. We break down that running mechanics for, or that, that jumping mechanic for them and, and apply a one-on-one -on -one, um, type of training philosophy within a small group so that they're able to compete with each other within a given session and uh, push each other to grow and just taking the time to really give the athlete what they need. Um, very science-based, data-driven type of training where we're documenting everything that we, that we do um, so that next time that come in, um, the next trainer or whoever the trainer may be is picking up where they left off and they know exactly what, what is going to be happening the next session. Brock Mendoza with a couple flushes here early on. Clearly he's, he's got the... The leaping ability, you know, Absolutely. kind of under wraps. He's, he's figured that out. We, we talk a little bit about um, your locations. Uh, what are some of the age ranges that you guys try to target that you work with? How is too early or how old is too old? What, you know? Yeah, yeah no, absolutely. Yeah. So obviously high school and younger is our biggest um, target range that we like to reach out to. Um, you know, we can start kids as young as seven years old. Uh, we call it our ignition program where we're just getting them getting their feet wet, right? Where we're teaching them the basics, learning, teaching them how to control their body. Um, and then as that athlete progresses, we, we progress with them. We push them to be better. We um, take the next steps that they need so that they can improve in their athletic ability. Um, so, you know, starting from seven all the way up to college, 
athletes are coming in constantly. Um, some pro athletes on their off season, they'll come in to get some additional training. And then um, not to mention our adult fitness program um, that's out there to help the adult, whatever their needs are, we're there to, to help them get, get better. So those of us who lose our wind spring upstairs, we exactly. obviously, yeah, yeah, no matter the age, we could use there, some athletic report. There's the golden ticket. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> Kyle Carley had the nice steal and, and finish uh, for the caps as we've had some substitutions come on. Nice take there by Christopher Cross or Cox for uh, the Americans. We talked a little bit about some of the locations that you guys are in, Lehigh, North Davis, Park City, opening up soon in West Jordan. What's the best way for people to I, to find the location near them or get signed up with Athletic Republic? Yeah, no, great great question. Um, the best way, so if you're looking to go to the Lehigh location, best way to go lehigh.athleticrepublic.com. Um, same thing for North Davis. So you just Google northdavis.athleticrepublic.com as well as same same scenario for Park City and West Jordan. Got more substitutions coming on here for the Caps. We've seen a couple of players come on, including Lyman Simmons. Just moved up here, going to be attending Real Salt Lake. He was a member of that state championship of Snow Canyon last year. So that's going to be a big change here in the state. He's got it now. And that deflected, blocked away by Barrow, who is uh, at Leighton Christian. He's an extremely athletic wing uh, for the Leighton Christian Academy Eagles 3A preparing to move up to 4A, which is just remarkable for that private school. What a great job Coach Bobby Porter has done there. Bryce, talking about Athletic Republic, um, what is really kind of the uh, the unique item that, that you guys feel like you offer? There are certain, um, I mean, we've talked about different agilities and, you know, items inside of the reads. What's really the specialty you guys feel like, man, this is where we are just better than anyone. Like this is our this is our kind of pole, you know, like our yeah, tent sorry. pole yeah. in the ground, right? Yeah. No, that's an awesome question and a really great question. And there's a couple things to, to answer that specifically is, is we are a data-driven facility. We are documenting everything. We are te- constantly testing, re-teaching, re- and retesting to ensure that, that the athlete is progressing. Um, you know, because if you're not documenting what you're doing, then you're not able to make proper progressions, proper adjustments um, to push that athlete to be better. Um, and then another thing that really separates us is is we do not try to pack a class. We keep class sizes small. At most, you're going to have five kids with one trainer, so keeping that small ratio. So you're essentially getting one-on-one training within a small group setting. That way, each, each time an athlete comes in, they can get their own workout that's specific for them, um, taking them through all the mechanics and, and the proper movements uh, with that trainer. One of the items that becomes so important in elements like this, I mean, you know, we go three games tonight, we'll have three games next Monday, and of course they'll all be, you know, ball in between now and then recovery. I know that's an item you guys focus on. Yeah. Give us a real key element of your guys' recovery program, how you found that that helps athletes yeah. and participants in your program. Yeah, recovery is huge for any sport, regardless of where you're at within the training cycle and, and um, many ways to take advantage of that uh, with us here at Athletic Republic, whether it's just coming in, uh, you're in season after game, just uh, with the trainer going through a, ses- a session, just of functional movements to get the blood flowing to the uh, throughout the body, flushing that system, so to speak, um, and and just keeping keeping healthy. Um, you know, communicating with the trainer so that you know any tweaks from a game, from whatever it may be, all of our trainers have the knowledge and the know-how. Um, to to make those proper adjustments when, within a workout and to just increase the longevity of an athlete. Well, another made three as the Caps have really started to find their range here tonight. And, of course, you got to love the defensive closeout by Dallo, uh, just a play or two before that, and a strong answer being made there by Makai Martin of the Leighton Lancers to tie us up at, at 22. We were talking before the game, Bryce, about the locations, and, you know, you showed up, the, you brought up the website for me, and, saw that you guys are in multiple countries. So, I mean, this is not just a local item, but it's great to have your presence here in the state. But this is a, a service that worldwide. Yeah. Yeah, this is a, a worldwide uh, type of training. This, this training is, that, is something that many people throughout the nation, not, not even the country, um, and outside the country in Australia and Japan, that people have seen the value in this style of training. They have seen the, the um, 
progress that athletes have made. Athletic Republic, from a franchise perspective, has trained uh, close to one and a half million athletes. Um, so with that, there's a lot of data, a lot of analysis that comes from out of Athletic Republic. So we can um, make adjustments. We can see that when an athlete is in a certain stage of their life that they need to ensure that they're doing this style of training to, to increase the longevity of the athlete, um, specifically those um, female athletes, ensuring that their um, proper knee health is being taken care of, preventative type of training. And that's just from experience, just from all, all across the, um, the exercise science yeah. world. But Athletic Republic has really honed in and capitalized on that. Awesome. We've got a timeout here. We'll step aside, a quick break. Be back with Utah Top 50 after this. Welcome back. 27-25, the Caps leading. A good start by the Americans. And the Caps, the three balls really started to uh, hone in. As here's Golesis taking on the Americans, driving to the rack and scoring 29-25 now for Washington. We'll pull up there from 10, won't go. And taken away by Cox. Oh, that just a little too much for Christopher to handle. The Cottonwood High School product. What a job being done at Cottonwood right now. Good to see that basketball program continuing to get stronger and stronger each year. As that out of play will go to the Americans. Here's Cox trying to work through the paint. Oh, good idea, trying to feed that across. Say good idea, tough idea to Mendoza as Mendoza going up, off target, tapped out. And it's Kyle Carley with it. Multi-year contributor for the Sentinels of Mountain Ridge. And that three dialed up, another one for the Caps. This one nailed by Griffin Dowdy of Weber High School. I've seen Griffin for a couple of years now. Of course, saw his teammate Hunter Skink just a while ago. In our previous matchup, I should say, game number two of the night is Cox with a little turnaround there in the paint. Right now, the threes outscoring the twos, giving the Caps here the five-point lead. Carly, the no-look into the corner. Another three on the way. That off target is Mendoza with the board. Mendoza taken away for the third dunk of the night. Boy, those are just becoming easier for Brock. I mean, no, no dunk is easy, no play is easy, but he's got six just off of finishes at the rim tonight. A little handoff there inside to Reese Dent. And the Americans, excuse me, that was uh, the Caps. With that, I think they put it up on the wrong side of the scoreboard there. A little turnaround, good for Cox. A little step back, another three. Griffin Dowdy again.
Mendoza showing a little bit of range there. That was just short. Here comes Dowdy. Ooh, I was going to say heat check there, but Alex otherwise is Cox able to disrupt the passing lane. Here comes Christopher, his head coach in the building tonight. As that three won't go, rebounded there by Galesis. Of course, his coach is uh, one Chris Jones of Highland trying to rebuild that program. Had an upstart year last year. I got that wrong. That's uh, Coach Jones is of Highland. That would be Nathan Johnson, his player, playing tonight for the Caps. I, mental lapse there. Golesis with a little athletic pass, but Kyle Carley had that one stay a little bit on him. That shot off the front of the rim kept in here with Reese Dent. And that one lofted long and out. Now we see Nathan Johnson, the just aforementioned Highland High product, coming back on the floor here for the Caps. Scoreboard has 35-33, so I thought we got one wrong there, but maybe I was wrong. 35-33 here, the score in the building. Handed over to Charlie Smith of Bountiful. Now here's Broadbent, was looking to get that to Martin. A little too hot for Mackay to gather. Comes Golesis, the Skyline Eagle. A big year last year as a three hit from K.J. Miller. That'll make old Papa Bear happy. Papa Bear slash coach. Kelby in the building tonight is Lyman Simmons there. Able to finish amongst the trees. Mackay. Over with Johnson. And now Dallo. Or Barrow. Barrow just strong off the back of the rim. Simons had the board. Here comes Mackay. No look pass. Over. Extra pass. Cox from the corner. Off the mark. Tapped out. Martin with it. Back up quickly to Simmons. Simmons the wraparound lineman with the, do with the pair. 38-37 here for the Caps. Pull up, tough one there for Dowdy, won't go. Cox, boy, left his man. And Christopher Cox, a couple buckets here in this opening half. Helping the Americans retake the lead here. Golesis, step back, just short. Lyman with the board. Up the other way, finished by Broadbent. 41-38. Golesis. Oh, Golesis making moves in the paint, the finish. Man, crafty there by Orgio. Broadbent, another Skyline Eagle, working over. Cox, lost it through the screen, out of play. It'll stay here. Two and a half to go. Broadbent to throw in. Here's Martin in with Simmons. Working against Barr, a little hook there, too strong. Reverse, tough shot for Carly. The whistle there called on Smith. And Kyle here to the line, two to go. Substitutions here for the Americans. Carly makes him or makes it. 
Again, one for two here until inside the final two minutes. So 42-41 caps. Oh, Simmons left alone. He's got a flush. Can't leave the big man in the paint. Barrow fouled here. You can see he wanted the answer. And free throws coming up here for Solomain. Can we talk about will be a, or is will be is is school started senior at Leighton Christian. And that one short. Tapped out and gathered. Johnson for three. Off the mark. Here's Martin, minute and a half to go. The lob over the head of Simmons and out. How about borrow running point here? Johnson. Ooh, Simmons with a nice reach there, able to stall it. Borrow trying to find a lane. Tough work. And Simmons here going to be whistled for the contact. We'll send Solomain back to the line. First free throw here for Arbaro, holding on to the one-point lead here. That one long. Tapped out, kept. Johnson, pull up from the elbow. Off the mark, Cox able to track it down. One minute to go here in our first half. Cox over with Lyman. He'll take the pull up just short. Caps with it. In the corner, Carson Smith. Carson. Other way, Martin. Tough three, looking to go off the glass, won't go. There's the whistle here on the reach with 22 seconds to go. It'll be the Caps. Can take the final shot. If they elect, Smith, pull it from 12, strong from Carson, bountiful Red Hawk, five seconds left, Martin tries to get it over, Jackson Workman, the shot won't go, was halfway down and rattled out. We've reached halftime, you're watching the Utah Top 50 on kslsports.com. from the food nanny i recently got a my style checking account it's the perfect blend of rewards and convenient benefits i love that sound and now my style checking has new features like mobile phone protection 24 7 telehealth and my favorite restaurant discount get the only checking account you truly need and see what's new with my style at macu.com Thank you. 
Inside, and it's 65-59. Want to apologize for the technical errors there on KSLSports.com. Back up and running. Appreciate your patience as we work through that. As boy, broadband looked like contact there. No whistle. Johnson has it here for the Caps. Carly looking right back to the middle with Smith and the whistle there. Nice ball movement. It's just over six to go. Each team here, each side making substitutions. Off the inbound, bucket there for the Caps. Back to within four here. Inside, Mendoza. Yes, and one there. Not much Johnson can do on that. You get stuck that far under the paint against the big man of Lyman, and, well... Probably going to end like that. Goles is trying the three and hits it. Giorgio making the three to pull back to within four here. Just over five to go. Simmons serving. He'll try the three. Lyman off the mark. Breakout for Dowdy. And it's a two-point contest. 68-66, 66 for the Americans. In with Mendoza, trying to move baseline. Foul here. That's going to be before the shot. Into Simmons. Knocked away by Golesis. Three on one here for the Caps. Your heel transition three short. Batted up, won't go, and Simmons with it. Workman to Lyman. Broken up by Carly. Oh, good vision. Over to Johnson. And it's blocked. Cox able to get up and deny. Boy, what a game he has continued to have offensively. He's hit some nice buckets. Shown his versatility. How about the defensive effort to get back? Well done. Inside of four to go. Still a one possession game. Johnson for the lead. Wouldn't go. Cox. Nice move. Hanging and scoring. Cox's big night continues. Johnson will try for three again off the mark. Rebounded. Easily gathered there by Charlie Smith. Here's Martin. Mackay, he'll try the three. Off the mark. And Golesis coming away with it. Carly in traffic to Johnson for three. No. Goles has followed it up but couldn't finish it. Boy, that's tough as he's kind of drifting behind the backboard there. Just couldn't get it over the front of the rim. Here's Workman. Other way for the Americans. Hands off. Mackay. Jackson trying to drive on Carly. Had the step. Moves over. Mendoza in the paint. The big man. Two more. The lead back up to six here for the Americans. That blocked by Cox. Boy, Dowdy thought he created enough separation, but Cox able to shut it down. Mendoza for three. The big man trying to show range. That off the mark. Cox with the board. The put back off the window. I'll tell you what. I don't know if there's a player who's impressed more tonight. 
than the junior, Christopher Cox of Cottonwood High School. Three from Dowdy, needs it and hits it. Back to within five now. Mendoza fouled on the up. Free throws coming up here for Mendoza. Seventy six sixty nine. Gillespie's fouled. He's a little slow to get up. And holding that left ankle, boy, not something you want to see here. Got an injury. We'll step aside. Be back. You're watching the Utah Top 50 on kslsports.com. Hi, I'm Lizzie from The Food Nanny. I recently got a MyStyle checking account. It's the perfect blend of rewards and convenient benefits. I love that sound. And now my style checking has new features like mobile phone protection, 24-7 telehealth, and my favorite restaurant discount. Get the only checking account you truly need and see what's new with my style at macu.com. Go let's just walking that one off. Comes out. This man just came on. KJ Miller hitting the three. 76, 72. Here's Cox. Dowdy trying to defend. Help coming over from Carly. And the whistle. Martin here will throw in. Mendoza sends out Smith. Oh boy, maybe had a quick look as Mackay able to regather that. Inside of a minute to go. Mackay in the paint, had it ripped away. And we've got a foul here instead. Inbounded here for the Americans. Still a four-point lead. Inbounded to Cox. Kicks out. Smith for three. Fouled on the shot. I don't think they ever started the clock. Still 50 seconds left here on the board in the building. And so free throw here for Charlie Smith and this is a big one. It's uh, three points on the line here. One for three, hits it. That take won't go. Martin, able to evade. Smith, Carly there, called for the foul. Not much other option at this point. 33 seconds left. Martin looking in for Mendoza. Mendoza deflected by Johnson. Johnson going up and getting a piece of that. Here's Carly on the other side. A whistle there. Kyle Carly. To the line. Uh, 
One more here. Well, he left Cox open. Has Mendoza with him. Cox, the lob, went off the front of the rim. Gathered by the Caps. They're not out of this yet. Johnson looking to drive. Baseline left it short. And Workman with it as the final 10 seconds here from Salt Lake Community College. And the Americans have to fend off a furious rally from the Caps, but they'll get the job done. 79-74. Christopher Cox had himself a ball game offensively and defensively as the Oakland Americans defeat the Caps. That'll do it. Night one in the books. The Tropics, Chaparrales, and Americans all winning. We will have night two in week two coming up next Monday night right here from Salt Lake Community College. You can catch all three games starting at 630 live on KSL Sports. Dot com. For Dino, Tino Psyche, my name is Dane Stewart. Thank you for joining us here for the Utah Top 50, presented by Mountain America Credit Union and Athletic Republic. Good night, everybody.